Hey everybody, it's Big Z and welcome back to Visage. So, for this episode we're gonna figure out what to do with this baby monitor. What to do with this code. I think it's gonna keep going even if we leave the room, or at least I hope so, because I can't remember the code. It's been a hot minute, or a hot hour, since I, uh, since I played this. Hello? Why is my sanity decreasing? I know it was the lady in the bathroom, but the door was closed! Uh, even if I can't see it, it still scares me. Just the thought of someone laughing at a joke. God, the scariest thing you could even imagine. Although, now that I think about it, I can kind of understand why we're scared. Oh man, that really permanently affected me? God dang it. God dang it. So if I stand in the light for long enough, does the brain go away? Or are, like pills the only thing that can get rid of the brain? Because I'm under the assumption that the only thing that can get rid of the brain is pills. But apparently standing in the light works too? Huh. Good to know. Okay, cool. I mean, if you're patient enough, I'm a very impatient person. And do I have pills? Oh, that's not it. I got pills. They're multiplying. And I am certainly losing my sanity. Um, okay. But we have to go into the bathroom, so I can kind of understand why we were scared. Because hopefully she's gone? Oh no. Oh no. I hear lights flickering. I don't like that. <laughs> don't do that to me. Don't start with the flickering. There we go. Okay, we made it in one piece. Look at the light. See the light? Pretty light. <laughs> like, every time I start this game, I'm just, I'm conditioned now to think that evil old lady McGee is going to come after me. Is she Dolores? Was that ever confirmed? I feel like she's Dolores. But I wanted to start off here because I realized there's a baby monitor in here. So maybe this will work. Oh, and there's hands on the clocks. Yes. Okay. Okay, so that's five. five zero, Did that work? Seven, three, I guess so. Was it five zero? Five, zero? Yeah, five zero. If we're going by military time. Five zero three. Zero, three, seven, three. We're on to something. Okay, seven. Where's seven? Seven. And straight ahead is three. Perfect. So what is this going to do? Oh, it's going to open a hallway to us. Is this the hallway? Oh, that's weird. All I see is walls. <laughs> oh, there we go. Okay, I wanted to see if it was the hallway in the basement that we needed a special key for. There's a lot of noises going on, and I don't know what to concentrate on. I guess the baby crying. Whoa! That's a cool visual. That's a really cool visual. Does it start rocking more and more? It kind of reminds me of the refrigerator from PT. Which I won't say anymore, because I don't want to spoil too much about PT. But I'm definitely getting a lot of PT vibes from this game. Obviously, it's very PT inspired. Okay, so what am I doing with you? Are you going to take the record? This feels very layers of fear. Overall, I'm just getting a lot of different- oh! Yeah, I'm definitely getting layers of fear vibes now. Whoa! Maybe not. I'm just going to list as many horror games as I possibly can. Now I'm getting layers- or not layers within, evil within. I got layers of fear and evil within mixed up. Like, not to say that this game is copying every horror game ever created. But you certainly get some some very specific vibes off it. And, like, it reminded me of Layers of Fear. Is my sanity going down? No, so I can explain this. Hey, it's the baby! We're on, we're on the other side of the the weird, goopy baby room. Um, what was I going to say? But it reminded me of Layers of Fear, first of all, because of the record and stumbling all around, stumbling all around, that kind of thing. Um, but also, there was, like, a moment where... It had like this red, green, blue, like separation, which is very, very like, they do that a lot in Layers of Fear. I think it's called Aberration. I don't know if it counts as Aberration. Um, so that was very Layers of Fear-esque. I was gonna say this reminds me of The Evil Within, but I don't think even The Evil Within was this goopy. But I like that visual. That was a cool visual of like the, 
the baby crib kind of tilted towards you. It's very nice. I don't know why it was covered in chains, though. This baby is like five seconds into the, you know, into the world. Oh, okay. For a second, I thought that was a person and I was about to shit my pants. Um, but this baby, like, you know, they haven't even gotten started on life and already they're into some, some kinky shit. Anyways, <laughs> why are we here? Why are we in the kitchen? Dinah, are you in here? I hope not. Not even Dinah wants to be in this kitchen. Okay. No beer, though. Oh, no, there was beer. Never mind. There was beer in the in the thing. Oh, that's crouch. Wait, I wanted to zoom. Okay, I can't move and zoom at the same time. I always wonder what they do for stuff like this. Like, if these are actual pictures that, like, the developers put in the game that are, like, pictures from their childhood, or if it's just, like, you know, they Photoshop pictures together that look like, you know, wholesome family photos... I don't know. Maybe a little bit of both. Okay. I know, baby. I know. Oh, should I? No, okay. Oh, wait. Oh, there's a baby crying now. She's in the room with the crying baby. I was curious to see if something else was going on with the... With the baby monitor. Or the baby walkie-talkie. I was wondering that earlier. Uh, like, is the entire baby monitor... Like, is the term for the whole thing the baby monitor, like the walkie-talkie part and the base? Or is it like the baby walkie-talkie and the baby monitor base? Like, I don't know. What would you call the, the separate parts of a baby monitor? I don't know. There are more pressing matters, but I'm just curious, you know? I don't know where that's coming from. Oh, geez, that's definitely a face. Oh, there's nothing subtle about that. It reminds me of, oh, what was the, like, now I'm just doing it as a joke, as a goof, as a gaff, as a guffaw. Like, I'm not trying to, like, again, make it sound like this game is copying and pasting different elements of different horror games, but it reminds me of Until Dawn. With that scene with uh, Rami Malek. I can't remember what the name of his character was, but it reminds me of that. Um, but I think it was a pig's head, right? Oh, there's even eyeballs. No, no. Can I interact with you? How do I interact with you? I can't. Okay. I just want to make sure. All right. Into the red room we go. Is someone developing pictures in here? Maybe. Is the baby crying because someone overexposed his, overexposed his photos? Whoa. Nope. They're crying because they're in hell. Okay. Great. Took the phonograph handle. Why? I thought we would want the record. Is that going to fall on us? It's very squishy. Like, it's hard to take it seriously only because there's so much squish. Sounds like, you know, the baby's in the middle of shoving jello into their face. Can we take the record? Because isn't there like a record player uh, in the house? I think in the basement there's a record player, right? We can't take the record. That won't do anything. Okay. I guess we'll take this. What the hell is this? I'm getting like so many different vibes. I think it's because my mind is like all over the place today. I had coffee before I started recording, which was not the best idea. Oh, why is there intestines? Also, upon editing... I can't remember what episode it was. I think it was the first or the second one. And I said it was an umbilical cord. No umbilical cord could be that long. Like, your intestines are super fucking long. So it had to be intestines that we were following that one time. That were, like, trailing out of the the lady. Game, you okay? You good? Game, you good? Please be good. Be good for me, game. Be the goodest game. Um, yeah, I don't know why umbilical cord was, like, the first thing I thought of for some reason. I don't know. I guess because there's a lot of like baby, you know, stuff going on in the game. I was like, maybe it's an umbilical cord. Maybe she had like a miscarriage or something and she blames herself for it. I'm in the middle of a cutscene. I can't do anything about it. I apologize. <laughs> okay. I really hope that's something they'll like fine tune, you know, after the game comes out of early access, like, obviously, they're going to work on it. Because right now, the hint system is just, uh, getting a wee bit, a wee bit, not irritating, 
But like every five seconds is like a void standing in the dark. And I was standing in front of like the well lit window in the... Okay, that scared me. Do you have anything to say? You have nothing to say now? Bring me my <sighs> you got a one track mind. At least you're consistent. I will give you that. Um, what was I going to say? Shoot. But I was standing in front of like a window and obviously there was like light and everything. And it was like avoid standing in the dark. I was like, I could not be further from the dark. I don't know what you want from me, game. Okay, just in case. I'm going to put some pep in my step because I don't know if uh, old lady can murder me right now. Probably. She probably still can. Oh, I forgot. Gouge it out. And I think I started talking about it in a different episode, but I didn't finish what I was saying. Someone, like, remade the PT game. I think it's on itch.io or Game Jolt or one of those sites. Um, like, someone remade the PT game with VR support, which is terrifying and it makes me happy I don't have VR because I would never attempt that. Um, but someone remade the game. So, like, you can play PT. It's not the official proper PT. But I kind of want to try it out and I'm curious to see if you can finish it because the first PT, the initial PT was impossible to be because no one knew what to do and I thought about that too like this game kind of has a similar feel about it because like it's a lot of wandering around aimlessly and that's what PT was but I feel like it kind of worked better with PT because there wasn't so much area to work with if that makes sense like it was the same looping area so like it was hard to get lost you know so like after looping through an area a few times and the same thing happening again and again it's like okay I have to there has to be something that I have to do or there must be something different that I'm not noticing so like it kind of like forced you to look around and take in your surroundings but this game has a very sprawled out layout so it's kind of hard to do something like that with like have a game with little direction but then have so many different areas available to you so I feel like that's where the disconnect is. Like, I'm perfectly fine with the game just being like, figure it out on your own. But in something as expansive as this game, it kind of, it's hard to translate. And it doesn't, you know, it doesn't quite fit well. But anyways, because like, I thought about that and I just like realized, I was like, oh, PT's the same way. Like, they don't really give you a lot of direction. So maybe this game was trying to go for the same thing and it didn't work out. Because like I said, it just seems like there's a lot of different areas and a lot of different stuff to work with. Oh, baby, you're fully developed now. You need both hands. Well, shit. Okay, I'm also losing sanity. I mean, do I have room? Sorry, hold on. I'm going to go back over here so I can regain some sanity. Do I have room? I only have room for one item. We have a lighter. So I think I'll store the walkie-talkie because I feel like we'll probably need that still. And then I'll drop this lighter. And uh, we'll go grab a baby. All right, take two, baby. Do you have a name? Do you prefer I call you baby? You are very stiff. You need a massage or something. Maybe a shiatsu. Jeez Louise. Aw, oh, look at your little legs wiggle. Aw, oh, I know. First few moments of life are really rough. Especially when uh, you're surrounded by a whole bunch of goofy goop. This looks different. Oh, is this the old layout of the house? Because I was like, there wasn't wood pan paneling before. Why is the wood paneling now? I don't know. But this is a very tiny baby. Are you a premature baby? Are you a preemie? Maybe. You need to get some clothes on you fast because you're probably going to be so cold. It's a cold, cold world, right, baby? Here's your baby. I know. I'm so happy to give you your child, too. Finally. You've been asking for this for so long. I mean, you may want to support the behind a bit more. Maybe not so much the legs. Make sure you support the neck. Okay. Oh, no. Jesus was just so excited he needed to take a power nap on the ground. He was like, oh, my God, you finally gave her a child. Thank you. She's been saying, bring me my child for the last, like, ten years. Or at least it feels like ten years. Um, okay, what was that supposed to signify? Why did Jesus fall off the cross? Do we just, like, hand her the Antichrist or something? That would be concerning. And she's gone. Okay. At least we don't have to hear, bring me my child anymore. Wait. Did we not get anything out of that? I just realized. Did I not get a thing out of that? Can I turn on a light? Doesn't do anything. Oh, no. The breaker tripped. Oh, come on. 
That's like double negative. I didn't get anything from that. And also the breaker tripped. God dang it. Oh, there was a toy inside the cross. Okay. I was like, why did, what, like nothing came from that? Cause like I kept like looking where she was and I was like, I don't see anything. I would think that she would leave some sort of memento behind, but maybe that's why she knocked Jesus off the cross. Cause she was like, here's your, here's your toy. Hold on. I need to figure out where I'm going. Cause like, I don't know if her mechanic is still in play here. I don't know if her chase me around the house mechanic is still in play. But the lights have tripped. Like, the, the breaker trips, so the lights aren't working. So, will she still come after me? I don't know. Okay, thank you, textures. Oh, thank you, plant. Hi, plant. You're my best plant. Favorite plant. 2019. <laughs> just wanted to go in for a good old hug. Um, okay. I'm just gonna slowly, like, make my way back. So I guess I'll meet you guys in the bedroom and we'll place this last toy. And then that should probably be the end of the game, I guess, right? Maybe? I don't know. Nope, sorry, no one's home. And I certainly didn't order pizza, so I'm not answering the door. I will only answer the door for pizza. Nope, you're not pizza. I already established that. All right, well, that's weird. I think it's whenever I come into this room, because I remember the lighter didn't light before, but I think that was in behind one of the mirrors. I don't know, maybe there are certain sections of the game where like the lighter refuses to light up. There we go. We got the whole set. So what do we do now? Round and round the mulberry bush, the monkey chased the weasel. Do 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 do. Pop goes the cradle. I don't know. Oh, there's a key. And it's all about that bass, about that bass, no treble. That is bass, right? <laughs> That's a symbol for the bass, not the treble. It's been a long time since I played any music, so I can't remember. Uh, you okay there, game? Okay, with a music symbol. You couldn't say if it's a bass or a treble. Now I'm gonna have to look that up. Okay, but I know where it goes. It goes right over here if the game would load. I know it's locked. There we go. What's inside? A vinyl disc. The sound of insanity. Boy, howdy, do we know that sound well? Okay, great. So I guess that's the vinyl that we're gonna go down to the basement and put on the record player. So let me head down there and I'll meet you guys there. We're here, and I looked it up and that was a treble clef, not a bass. But it's still appropriate because we are in treble. Get it? Instead of trouble, it's treble. Okay, great. Um, so do we need, well, I guess I'll, okay. I was gonna say, I guess I'll turn the lights back on. If the door would let me, please and thank. There we go. Okay. Um, so, 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 so. La, so, la, ti, do. We need to put the record on here, I'm guessing. There we go. What's this? Oh, okay. No, that's not what I wanted, though. Oh, I just fucking undid all of my progress. Oh, do I need to put the handle on it? Duh. There we go. Now we can listen to the sound of insanity. A sound we know all too well. What does it sound like? Mesmerizing. Sounds very bouncy. Sounds very classical. I'm a fan of classical music though. Do I hear breathing? Hold on. I had one headphone off because I was waiting to hear my dog howl because he's outside. Is that just the mirror? I think that's just the mirror. Why did I do this? I thought I was going to unlock something. Okay, let me turn on a light. There we go. Do I have to listen to you play all the way through and then maybe like you'll give me a key or something for over there? I don't know. I, I don't know what I'm looking for here. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. The music's coming from behind the door, so that's a good sign, right? Do I need a key? Oh, I don't need a key anymore. Whoa. Okay, that's cool. That's really cool. It reminds me of the Stanley Parable. I'm just gonna keep this going as a theme throughout the game. Is that the old lady dancing over there? Aw, look at her dancing. She's so like... She looks no so non-threatening when she's not trying to murder you. Aw, how sweet. Okay. So how am I how am I supposed to do this? Do I follow the music? 
Because, like, it's over here, but then it's over there. It's, like, in that direction. But I can't go that direction. Is that the door that I need, like, right there? So I just got to figure out how to get to that door? I don't know. It's all guesswork. I have no idea. Can I just fall down? I can. Okay, well, now I lost the music. Do I need the music? Now the place is just being a groany McGee. For a second, I thought that lamp was the lady, and she was, like, staring at me. I was like, please, no. No, no, don't do that. Um, okay. So this is literally like a maze. It's a maze of stairways. But this isn't gonna work. Because... Like, I think we have to be, like, facing the way the stairway is going up. So, like, I can't go that way, because the stairway is on the side, and I can't go up it. So did I just, like, knock myself into a dead end? I guess so. And I can't jump. Can I, like, trick the system here? Can I beat the system? I cannot. Well, fiddlesticks. Your undoing is now inevitable. You don't say! Here I thought we were just taking a nice trip to the bottom of the world, but whatever. Ow! Well, I didn't know I could take fall damage. No! Why did you do that? I still had the baby monitor on me! Oh, no, 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 no. Or no, that's true. If I reload it, I'll still have the baby monitor. Never mind, I'm being overdramatic. <laughs> I was like, I can't lose the baby monitor. I might still need it. We just got it. So there's definitely a chance that there are still some mechanics that I need it for. Once we get through this freaking maze of an area. I'm, I'm getting the feeling, though, I shouldn't take any shortcuts. Because whenever I try to, like, take a shortcut, the game is like, na na na, you're dead now. Okay, so there's, like, a definite path that I have to follow. And, like, they do kind of have, like, some sound mechanics going on. So if I go the wrong way, the music cuts out. And then all I can hear is that. So there's a definite pattern that I'm supposed to follow. And they have a definite way of showing you which way to go. I'm just impatient, and I don't feel like figuring this out right now. Okay, but I have to, so I'll meet you guys on the other side. Oh, hey. Speaking of the other side, you went straight on through to the other side. Are you watching me figure out this puzzle? Good for you. Really? You want me to pull off this shit? Are you kidding me? I mean, it's creative, I'll give them that, because it kind of defies your expectations of what you're supposed to do. But good Gandhi, man. I think I'm getting frustrated with this area because it's a lot of trial and error. It's not always completely clear where you're supposed to go. Like, you follow the music, but sometimes you'll go up an entire staircase. Like, I went over there, and, like, the music was fine. It wasn't until I tried every single direction that I started getting growled at by whatever it is that's growling at me. So it's like, it's still not very clear where you're supposed to go sometimes. I just feel like it could be more precise. To save people time and wandering. And, like, I know they probably did it on purpose. Like, it's a maze. You're supposed to wander around. But I just feel like the, the growling mechanic could be a bit more precise so you don't waste a whole bunch of time going up and down paths that don't work. Okay. Yeah, definitely not that way. No! Are you kidding me? And that's the thing, too, is, like, I spent so much time wandering around aimlessly and trying every single direction. I don't remember how I got there. <laughs> So now I have to do it all again. Oh my god. I mean, it's my fault for falling off, but at the same time. Like, so much of this is just wandering around aimlessly, and I'm so tired of wandering around aimlessly. It's starting to get frustrating. Oh my god, is this the door? Holy fucking Luya. That was so much wandering around. It was so much trial and error. Mostly error. A lot of tribulation. But we did it. And, like, it wasn't even the door the sound was coming from. Like, the sound was coming from behind me. Jeez Louise. Like, I didn't think it was that door. I thought that was a dead end. Because, like, some of, the, some of the areas were, like, clear dead ends. But other times, like, I wasn't sure. Especially after they introduced the mechanic where you could walk on the side of the stairs. Can I light up my lighter? Nope. Somehow it won't light up. Saw that coming. Oh, no. Red lights. Is synth music going to start playing? Is it going to be an episode of Stranger Things? That would be a twist. That would be like an M. Night Shyamalama Lamalan twist. Eleven just pops up in front of you and is like, help! Eleven wouldn't need help, though. Eleven's pretty, pretty strong. 
Oh, I don't like the violin. How the hell do violin players do that anyways? That has to be a, a very talented vinyl, violinist. I can't talk anymore. I drank like half of my coffee out of stress during that section and I think it's starting to kick in. We've been to this room before. This is down by the basement. Oh no, this is the peekaboo room. Okay, are we gonna peekaboo through the other side? Straight on through to the other side? Apparently not. Um, what about this one? Ah, this one. What's up, old lady? So I'm just gonna assume the old lady is Dolores. Because I don't really know who else could be Dolores. Now do we go to this one? Now we go to this one. Do you like the baby, Dolores? Is that a good baby? Oh no. Go back to the baby. <laughs> Please, so it'll stop crying. Are you gonna go get its bottle or something? Is it hungry? Oh, okay, that was a very- oh. That escalated quickly. Okay, can we stop looking now? We get the picture. A little too well, unfortunately. Isn't that where there was a hole in the ceiling? Because we fell through the ceiling. Like, that's where the, the hole to the attic was. Are we gonna go help the baby? Oh, now we're back in the regular house. Oh, oh, so that's that room? I mean, it's kind of trippy, but in like a cool way. Going between like older version and newer versions of the house because it's still kind of like a similar layout so it feels familiar. But obviously like, you know, they've knocked walls down, they put new walls up and it kind of like, it changes the perspective of the house a small bit. Okay, that didn't affect my sanity. It's jammed. Okay, so whatever we need must be in here. Is there like, uh, do I need to find the baby monitor base? Oh, okay. We already listened to all of these, right? I think I missed a tape. I don't know how, but I think I did. Cause I think I went, I forgot to go back and get one of the other tapes. No, I don't want to interact with it. Do I have any in my inventory? No. Okay. We still have the attic hook though. So I wonder why they let us keep that. If it doesn't have, like it doesn't serve any other purpose. You know, after you get the, the tea for grandmama. Oh, there's a mirror. You found a progress item. From now on, it will be displayed in the progress room. It's just gonna apparate like the jaw. End of Dolores' chapter, leaving reality behind. Okay, so I guess we finished the chapter. I guess that's the end of chapter two. Once you have completed a chapter, you are far from being finished. Explore the house once more and you'll discover new key items to open new paths. Okay. All right, well, I guess that's the end of chapter two. I guess that's the end of, you know, Visage for now until chapter three. Um, actually, let me go back to the menu to do final thoughts because I don't want anything spoopy happening and my, my sanity going down and, you know, I don't want to end up getting murdered while I'm trying to do my final thoughts. Uh, so let me go back to the menu and we'll do final thoughts there. All right, I feel slightly better now that we're back in the menu. Like I'm I'm not as worried about getting distracted, I guess, because I was afraid in the house that I would get distracted by sounds or like I would get distracted by my sanity decreasing or like I was worried that I was gonna get murdered by something, which I don't know if you can get murdered by anything because the house is kind of also like a menu screen in a weird way or like a loading screen. Um, because if you're not actively in a chapter, I don't know what happens if your sanity decreases because your sanity can still decrease. Um, I don't know, but I don't want to find out either. So I came back to the menu so I could concentrate on what I wanted to say. Um, so with all that being said, I guess in terms of final thoughts for chapter two, it was okay. Um, there were definitely some frustrating parts of the game. 
Uh, but I feel like I enjoyed chapter one more as compared to chapter two. And I feel like I was also a bit more critical of chapter two. Um, like I know the game is still in early access, but because chapter one has been out for a while now and because a lot of people have played that game, because it's early access and that's one of the benefits of having an early access game is like you can get a lot of feedback on your game uh, while it's in development. So I was hoping they would take the feedback that they got from chapter one and implement it into chapter two, which it's been a while since I played chapter one. So I don't know if they took anything like any criticisms from the first chapter and implemented them into the second chapter or if they went back and fixed anything about the first chapter. Um, which I'm excited to see because I'm gonna have to go back and play through the first chapter again So that way we have chapter one and chapter two done at least in one save Because um, when I started the game back up I wasn't sure if it saved my progress like I wasn't sure if it saved me finishing chapter one So I just wanted to start off on a new save so that way I knew we could just go straight into chapter two without having to you know, go through the end of the, the first game again. Um, but I'm sure like my autosave probably saved the fact that I had finished chapter one until I started chapter two and then it started a new autosave. Um, so I'm gonna have to go back and do chapter one. But like I said, I'm curious to see if they've changed anything about it. Um, but going back to chapter two, cause I went on a tangent there. Um, like I said, it was a bit more frustrating because it felt like it lacked a lot of guidance or at least it, it felt like it was very aimless which is not to say that i want the game to like hold your hand and show you where to go the entire time but i feel like with a game that's as expansive as this one like you have a huge house they gave you new areas to explore in the house you also have the mirrors that you can explore like there's a lot of different avenues you can go down and i feel like there's one too many so i feel like the game should help you decide where to go next or what to do next either through guiding you like they did with the guy who showed us where the hook was for the attic or like the lady showing us there was a mirror in the tv room doing something like that or doing things through process of elimination or having limited options to begin with um like having a mechanic where like if you go through one window you know it can unlock another window like the window that had the compass like once we got the crowbar like i feel like that would have been a good order it's like you go and find the the mirror that had the lady in it where we had to go and get her tea because you immediately can go up to the attic and get the tea so that could be like the first mirror and then you get the crowbar so that unlocks the next mirror and you can go and use the crowbar on the on the window you know that the compass was behind and then you have the compass which unlocks another mirror which is the the playground area and the gravesite so like having things unlock slowly it helps your memory it helps you remember where everything is in relation to one another but it also helps you feel like you have a sense of direction and you know where to go next and it's more fluid and it's more efficient um because i think i said it before but i would much rather play a game that's more fluid and sequential and you have like a flow to it and you understand what you're supposed to do i would much rather play a game like that that has shorter play time as compared to a game where you wander around aimlessly for hours on end and it has a longer play time because of that because most of that play time doesn't even count it's just you wandering around you know like it doesn't feel fulfilling it doesn't feel like it does anything for the game it's just like you're wandering around you know waiting to get killed in this game situation because anyone can pop up and kill you at any moment um so i feel like you know having something like that implemented would be great or like i said a process of elimination because they kind of do it with the key inventory like once you're done with a key uh, they eliminate it from your inventory. So that kind of confirms that, you know, you're done with that item because you can't use it anymore. So doing that with the mirrors would also be useful. Um, so like once, like I said, once you get the crowbar from that one area or you get the toy from that one area, like having the mirrors be inaccessible after that point would be useful. Um, so that way you're like, okay, I'm done with that area. I don't have to worry about anything else in that mirror. So I feel like those are like a couple ways they could help you progress through the game like like i said either through process of elimination or having limited options to begin with um like those are a couple different ways they can make it easier to figure out where you're supposed to go and like there are some mechanics in the game that are super useful like the sound mechanics i feel like they relied a lot more on sound mechanics for this chapter and it really worked to their benefit um, because like the the situation with the appliances talking to each other it kind of like caught my attention and I was like what the hell you know it was kind of like weird but at the same time it was really cool that you just heard talking in the next room so that kind of like gave you the feeling that maybe you should go check out what's going on or like the situation with the the staircase area where like they had music playing so if you're going the right direction the music would continue to play um, but if you started going the wrong direction, then there was like this snarling, growling sound that didn't sound as appealing. So you're like, okay, I really don't want to follow that sound. So I'll continue to follow the music. So you would turn back and try to find a different option. 
like I said, I feel like that could have been a bit more tight because there were, like, in terms of mechanics, I feel like the mechanics could have been a bit tighter because there were some locations where I would go up the steps and it was just a dead end. So I felt like I was wasting time by going up the staircase to a dead end when they could have started the growling noise before I started going up the staircase. Um, so I feel like that could be a bit more tight because, like I said, the less aimless wandering I feel like I'm doing, the better. Like, you, you want, or at least for me personally, I always like games that feel like constant progression. You know, like I'm constantly progressing towards something. Like, even if it's like the littlest step, like it still feels like it's a step towards progress. Um, so having these sections where I just wander around and loop around the house over and over and over and over and over again until something happens, that's frustrating because I'm just like, I've lost progress, I've lost direction, I've lost any point in doing this. Um, so, you know, it kind of makes you feel like it's, it's aimless and like that's the most frustrating part to me. But at the same time, I like the way they have it set up. Like I said, it's definitely very PT in the fact they don't give you a lot of direction. But at the same time, PT was one hallway, you know? It was one section of a house. It wasn't an entire house along with mirrors, you know? So they could kind of get away with not giving you any sort of direction. And I remember a lot of people getting frustrated because they weren't able to finish the game because the, the mechanics for the game were so subtle and so nuanced. And I remember at one point in the game, you had to like talk to a baby through a phone on the speaker for the PS4 controller. Like you had to use like the microphone on the PS4 controller to talk to the baby through the phone. And I was like, who would think of that? Like it was cool because that's a very underutilized mechanic. Um, but at the same time, because you only had that one hallway to work with, it was a very short, very simple area to work with. You know, you could loop through it quickly and be like, okay, like I need to do something else. Like looping through the hallway isn't doing anything. There has to be something that I have to do in order to make progress. But when you have a gigantic house like this one with all sorts of areas and mirrors to explore, it doesn't feel as efficient. It doesn't feel as fast, you know? Like, you can quickly figure out after looping through a hallway three times, you know? Like, I must have to do something different as compared to looping through an entire house and all its mirrors three times. It's like, okay, I just spent 45 minutes on nothing, you know? So that was my biggest gripe with the game is like, I feel like it needs more guidance. Like I, I understand that like they're trying to go for a PT vibe and they're trying to do the same thing where like the game doesn't guide you as much and it's up to the player to figure out what to do. And I like that too at the same time because I feel like that's a good potential for like an open world horror game, which is like a combination I would have never thought of until I played this game. So like, I feel like it's a good combination, but at the same time, they have to give you some sort of guidance. Like even in an open world game, they're like, here are your options, you know? You know, they give you a sense of direction or multiple directions that you can head in, but the game just kind of like drops you in and is like, do something, you know? They don't tell you what to do, you're just supposed to do something. So I feel like even if they want to go for like an open world aspect around the house, they could still give you some ideas on where to go. Like, you know, they could give you someone leading you down a hallway to a specific mirror, but then if someone wants to go check something else out, they don't have to go through that mirror, you know? Like, they always have the option available to do something else as a player. So I feel like it would be a cool combination, you know? Like, still give people guidance, but if people want to take that guidance, they can. Or if they want to go explore something else, they can, you know? Um, but either way, like, I feel like there needs to be more guidance through process of elimination, through giving, like, limited options at first, uh, and then like people can loop back into other areas if they feel like it, you know, if they feel like they missed something, they can loop back to other areas, but it'll help make the areas more memorable and it'll help give people direction and remember how to get to different areas better. Cause I feel like that was the other issue I had is like, I was getting all the mirrors confused with each other cause they were immediately available to me. So I was like, okay, there's like eight different mirrors I can walk through and I can't remember which one to walk through. So I guess I'll just walk through all of them. So I think that's all I had in terms of criticism. In terms of strong points for the game, like I said, I really like the mechanic where Dolores can pop up at any time and kill you because it gives you this sense of dread. It constantly like makes you on edge and stuff like that. It makes you nervous, which is what a horror game is supposed to do. So I like that mechanic. I like how they utilize the audio mechanics for the game and like, like I said, the stairwell area where you could like follow the music or follow the snarling to figure out which way to go. That was really well done. Like I said, it could have been a bit tighter in terms of like guidance, but you know, it was really well done. And the situation where like you could hear like people sobbing in other rooms or you could hear the appliances talking to each other. Those are really cool mechanics. Um, like I said, this game has loads of atmosphere and it has loads of good ideas and good concepts. And I also like the sense of humor that it has um, because I was watching someone else play chapter two and I watched apparently in the room where like you get the knife uh, that's stabbed into Jesus after you get the crank. 
I'm trying to think of a better way to describe it. Um, the room that had like all the crosses in it, you could take one of those crosses to get across the gap uh, that led to the door at the end of the hallway and there's an Easter egg in that room and I'm not gonna say what it is in case people don't wanna know, but I found it hilarious. So I feel like this game has a good sense of humor. It doesn't take itself too seriously like a lot of horror games do. Or like seeing the old lady dancing around in the room with all the stairs, like that was also kind of funny because she has like this deadpan face the entire time because like I guess they decided not to animate her with any sort of like smile or anything like that. Like things like that, it's kind of humorous, you know, and you don't expect that in a horror game. So I feel like stuff like that is really well done. There are some really well done mechanics and aspects to this game. Um, but I think that's everything. I think I covered everything that I want to say in terms of chapter two. Like I said, I don't feel like it was as strong as chapter one, which is like a personal opinion, so you can take it with a grain of salt. But I'm curious to see what they change in like the, the different chapters. And I'm curious to see what they do for chapter three. Like I'm curious to see if they go back and fix some things in chapter one and chapter two, and then like I said, they take the, the feedback that they got from the first two chapters and they implement it into the third chapter. So I'm just, I'm curious. I'm curious to see what direction this game takes next. And I'm really excited to see what they do for chapter three, because chapter one and chapter two, other than like one mechanic that comes to mind, they were very different from each other. So I'm curious to see what new concept they're gonna have for chapter three and then for the final chapter of the game. Uh, but that is going to be it for now until chapter three. So I'm going to leave this episode here. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And of course, I do want to thank you all for watching. And I will see you in our next little adventure. Bye.